Welcome to Dude RV. I'll head up to Lake Texoma. Damn sight, Texas. <laughs> I didn't name it. We made it. Here we are. Texas Dam Site. Or Dam Site, Texas. I think the, the sign came coming in said Texas Dam Site. That's my front view. Of course we are we are at a Corps of Engineer campground. This is an un there, there's no one on site. But we're in site number 15. And check out the neighbors. What neighbors? So there are 20, 20 campsites here. And how many occupied? One's a park host. So six of 20, seven of 20 if you count mine. Seven of 20 are occupied. We're inside number 15. Uh, it is a 30 amp with water there's a lot of ants make sure you bring your ant stuff back almost you know I've got 14 right in my my hip pocket here but check out the beautiful pecan trees that's why you can't see it from the satellite image sits pretty high here at the back so if you need anything before you level up, you better get it. If you had an out, if I had an outdoor kitchen, it'd be unusable. So we got a the table, the fish cleaning table, a cooking table, I guess. A firebox with trash in it. Of course, there's trash in it. Iron table on a concrete pad that slopes way downhill. Red River is right there. There's a creek back over here. This one's not going to be a real extensive video. Not a whole lot here to not a lot here to shoot video of, but I'll see what I I'll see what we can get into. So the horn just sounded so they're letting water out of the dam. And one of my neighbors headed out. So apparently we can get down to the water here. Well, if I go down, I gotta come back up, so I'll probably save that for later. So I'm going to jump in the truck. Rather than taking a little red, we're going to go explore. We're going to go explore in the pickup. All right. Unfortunately, it's not for, for the public, but it sure looks like fun. There's a cable car that goes all the way across to the other side, but it looks like it is no longer connected to the to the tow cable or something. 
When horn sounds, beware of rapid rise in water level. So somebody lost their keys down here. Doesn't look like it's real deep. All right. So there, there are no shower facilities. And I don't think, I'm not sure, there may be a dump station right there. And just like that, we're in Oklahoma. We've crossed over to the other side. So this, this is Oklahoma dam site. Over there, that's Texas dam site. That's a scramble to get down there. Lake Texoma permit is not valid. So if you're fishing over here on this side, you must have an Oklahoma fishing license. And it'd be nice if you brought a damn trash, I'm sorry, if you brought a trash bag too. Wonder how deep that is. looks like stairs but it's actually not stairs it's decoration let's go see if we can get a different view all right we are at the the top of the spillway as close to the top of the spillway as we can get I was hoping we'd be able to get a look down inside there, but it doesn't seem to, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Well, we're not going to be able to see all the water coming out of the spillway. Let's go see what else we can find. Well, I came across to the other side of the dam. This is the spillway ramp. It's a three-lane boat ramp. Big parking lot. horns blowing so they're going to let out some more water but it looks like the lake's rather low there'd be some there are some folks out fishing we've seen about all there is to see it looks a lot different from the satellite i'm here at the lake texoma overflow And I, I can remember once since I moved up to North Texas, I can remember one time where this actually, the lake overflowed. Now, what I find to be odd 
is the amount of parking space they've given to this area. This is the Texoma Overlook. I'll show you what I mean. See what I mean? What is uh what is here that requires so much parking? There's a historical marker, and we'll go check that out. The historical marker, basically, this this was put up in 1968. 1968, this was the uh, second largest lake in the state of Texas and the 11th largest in the United States. And so I think I, I may have figured out why they put such a large parking lot up here on this bluff. One, well, it's just a nice view. View. But I'm kind of thinking maybe there was at some point something else here, like a Texas Welcome Center, and then they put in 45 and moved the Welcome Center because there's a Welcome to Texas sign up here. We're going to take a look at that real quick. Either that it was, or it was just in anticipation of the lake getting up over that spillway. But if that's the case, then you wouldn't be able to drive because it would flood the road. I don't know. done here at Texas Dam site on the downside of Denison Dam, Lake Texoma. It's an okay little campground. It's a really busy road right here though man. It's just non-stop cars all day. But if, if you're coming out here you do have to make reservations online at recreation.gov and I would encourage you to to be looking at the, the sites back in the corner if, if you can get them, especially that one back over there. I don't know what number it is, but that's the cool one. So we're gonna head to the Oklahoma side of the lake. Go check out East Burns Run. <laughs> 